Lesson five, how do light and the one-way mirror interact to cause a one-way mirror phenomenon? So in lesson five, we are first gonna look at this video closely. And as we look, look at the video, we're gonna look at these things. Really, what is seen, what is not seen, and all the things we've learned in lessons one through four. And why does the music see themselves and why doesn't the teacher see the student? And so as we go through the video, I'm going to walk you through parts of it. So if you recall in the video, the student rings the doorbell. He is outside. And as he enters, you'll notice the outdoor sunlight is very bright and the building is dark. This is regular glass, but it is reflective. And even as he opens the door, you can see that the inside of the building is dark and the bright sun reflects and you can see the parking lot briefly as he opens the door. Then when he enters the dark hallway, he enters a room that is well lit. In the room that is well lit, he will walk in and, pause right here, sorry. I'm going to pause right here. And you'll notice that his sweater on the front is actually a lighter blue, but when you look in the reflection, it seems to be a darker blue. And I want you to note that remember, we learned in the one-way film, it had kind of a grayish look to it. And in lesson four, we learned when we zoomed in, it sort of looked like a checkerboard, half black, half clear. That gave that effect to be able to see. Well, that half black is making the one-way film give a different appearance or a darker appearance. So that's the first thing students miss in the video. And then as we proceed, the student continues to play around in the room. And I'm going to come forward just a little bit. Notice the film is still a little bit darker than this sweater right here. The teacher comes in from a dark hallway. And I want you to note that her shirt has these blue triangle, blue square or white squares on it. As the teacher enters the room, you will notice the white squares are reflecting onto the mirror. Many times students miss this, but this is showing that even with the dark room, it is reflect reflecting the white squares. And she continues to go back and forth, look back and forth, and notice that the light is off. She even gets to the point to wave in it to show in the phenomenon that the student can't see them. It's not that the teacher doesn't know it, it's a learning lesson of the phenomenon to show that he cannot see her. Now, as we proceed, we have this discussion as kids watch this video in class. Now, we also discuss that now we have learned that light every time it hits an object it changes. So if I have 10 rays go into a mirror, 10 rays don't come back, less comes back. So in class, we discuss this key, and I asked them to write it in their geo journal, that as we model the unseen in a consensus model, we can model all light, most light, some light, and a little light. And in this model, we can use this when we do our science circle in lesson seven. Now, lesson six, why does the music student see themselves and not the adult? You're gonna be asked to watch this video. So when you're done, you're gonna make sure you watch this video on how the eye interprets light. This will help us understand this picture. And so this picture will be glued in your Chio journal. So here's a hint. Rays of light reflect or bounce off objects just like a ball bounces on the ground. This reflection of light is what enables us to see everything around us. So we're going to start with this worksheet and we're going to use that key that we had in lesson five. And I'm going to ask you to pause the video and I'm going to ask you to draw the path of light to see the flower. So pause now and draw that light. Okay, now here's the question. If all light bounces off the objects, then the best course of light is to have all the light go to the flower. And as soon as it hits the flower, it's going to bounce and some of the light is going to hit the eyes. So there are two beams and it changes. Okay, the next one. 
draw the path of light to see the flower in the glass. So pause the video. Okay. So if you notice, all of the light goes to the flower, some of the light goes to the glass, and then the glass causes it to change because of the impurities in the glass, and some of the light goes to the eyes. The last one. Draw a path to see the flower through the mirror. Same key, what happens? All of the light goes to the flower, some of the light goes to the mirror, and a little of the light goes to the eyes. And that's how we can see the flower.